So guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at my new family. No, I haven't got married and I haven't had children. It's still just me and Lulu here, but I have got new additions to my family, my first aid family. I've got a baby and I've got a child. And not just one, I've got several of them that we're gonna to bring to the classroom near you so you can see how effective you are with your compressions because they're not just normal babies and normal um, children. They are the same as the adult range that we already have. They're QCPR mannequins which means it gives you real time feedback about how good your compressions, how good your rescue breaths are on all the mannequins that we're gonna to bring to you on our training courses when we come and deliver them. So please make sure you listen all the way to the end of the video, just so you can see how they're being used. And um, maybe you're a trainer yourself and you want to buy your own kit. So I'll just show you how we use them and how effective they are. Um, or maybe you just want to uh, see what to expect when you come to one of our courses. Now we've already made a video about the QCPR adult mannequins and we showed you them um, projecting it onto an Apple TV or even onto a projector in the classroom. If you haven't seen that video, you can just click the link, I'll leave it in the description below. You can go back and have a look at any point you, you would like. But here we go. So we've got the junior mannequin, which looks exactly the same as the original junior. Um, but this time, every time you push down on here, it's going to register through to the phone about how good your compressions and also how good your rescue breasts are. The baby is slightly different to uh, the other babies that we've got and you've used in the classroom or you've seen on the videos. Actually, now it's made out of a plastic kind of covering rather than like a cushion like it was before. Um, you can also see when we open the, um, the top off, or open the chest up, which obviously you're not going to do in real life. But when you open the chest up, you'll be able to see the lungs are different as well, and um, a lot thinner rather than the padded lungs um, you might have come across before. But of course, you might not have never seen inside a baby, but just so you're aware, the lungs are different, um, which makes it more effective or gives you better feedback when you do rescue births. Because you just, as some people are aware, when you give rescue births to a baby, the head must be neutral. If it's like this, then the rescue breast won't be effective. And if it's like this, the rescue breast won't be effective. They actually have to be neutral. So the lungs on here will only inflate if you give rescue breasts effectively. It also tells you if you're pushing down in the correct place, which will be in line with their nipples. So this will give you real time feedback um, when doing CPR in one of our classroom courses. So let's just show you how it all works, shall we? So you can see I've got it connected to my phone here. And as I connect it to my phone, I just say which mannequins um, I want to use. The phone can only hold up to six mannequins at a time, but if I've got my iPad, I can have more mannequins connected depending on the size of the screen. So I've connected some mannequins here and I'll choose which ones I would like, whether it's the adults, the juniors, the babies. I'll make sure I tell the learners what their number was so I don't need to shout out their name. I can go learner one, just push down a bit deeper. Learner two, you need to release a bit more. All this kind of important feedback. But the also good thing about the app is you can change it so you can do CPR, so CPR meaning with rescue breasts, or you can do compressions only CPR, which is great at the moment, especially with the COVID precautions put it into place. And don't forget, if you're not quite sure what CPR is and all the COVID precautions that we do when we're performing CPR, I'll leave the link to those videos below for you as well. So you can just have a look at that just to refresh your mind. So you'll see here, this one, this um, icon here will show me, and also if I put it on the screen, it will show the learners if they're pushing deep enough, it will show them if they're coming up enough, it will show them if they're going the correct speed, which is 100 to 120 beats per minute. It will also show me how long they are off the mannequin for, so how long it takes them to do rescue breaths. Ideally, you don't want to take more than five seconds to do rescue breaths, so it will give me a timer then as well. And it also tell me how effective the rescue breasts are, whether they're inflating too much or not enough, or whether it's actually gone in at all. And at the end of the time, which you can select being one minute, two minutes, at the end of the time, it will give them a score. So they can see if they've scored 100% or how effective their CPR actually is. And the clever thing about the app is it will recognise um, which one the baby and the child are, because CPR is a little bit different for them, and uh, for some of you might be aware, you've actually got to give five rescue breaths to a child and a baby first, and the app will recognize whether you've done that effectively, but then everything else will be the same, 30 to two. So it's a really clever bit of kit, and I really enjoy using it in the classroom. 
Now the fun bit I also use, don't really use it when I'm teaching adults, but when I'm in schools teaching basic life support or basic first aid to students, um, to children maybe, I might do the race mode. And they find it quite good fun, quite competitive. So you can change it to race mode. And race mode just shows you they're just doing compressions. Well, they can do compressions only, or they can do CPR. And they just tell them what colour they are. They've got a race for ambulance to the end. It's all about effective compressions and effective rescue rest. Otherwise, that little ambulance won't move to the end fast enough. So the race mode is quite a fun thing to do. I can do it in a relay style, just changing over lots. I tend to do that in a school setting. So going back, the app's very good. So you can do compressions only. So that's just if, sees how effective you are doing your compressions. It doesn't worry about how many you're doing, doesn't count them. It's just looking at whether you can sustain the effectiveness, uh, the depth, releasing enough and the correct speed for the duration of the time that you've chosen. Or you can do CPR with rescue breaths. So the app is a really good bit of kit. Um, and if you come into one of our classes, you're going to have a little play on the babies, the children and the adults in our classroom setting. We hope you do book along a course and come along. We'd love to be able to see you there because it is good fun. It's nice to know how good you are. It's nice to know, I mean, it's all right, a instructor in the front of the classroom going, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, you passed your course. But actually, for me, I want to make sure the learners feel confident and competent doing CPR and not just a tick box exercise. I want them to be able to learn, yeah, you are pushing deep enough. No, you need to come up a little bit more. No, you got tired then, that's when your score started going down. They want to know how effective they are. They want to know if they're good enough to be able to do it in real life on a real life situation. So I think this app on the lateral mannequins, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, lateral mannequins, they've got a called QCPR app that you can use. Um, and I just project it through the app. I sometimes project it through my Apple TV or just put a stick in my phone into the projector so just so they can see it up on the screen. It all depends on which facility I'm in uh, where they can see, or I might just look at it on the iPad or on the phone just to give them that real time feedback as I'm going around um, or just leave it in front of them so that they can see what they're doing. But thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget those links for the uh, QCPR link to my Apple TV or the adults, I'll leave down below. COVID CPR, I'll leave a link for that. And also how to do CPR for all child, baby um, and adult, I'll leave the links below as well for you. But don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any more videos coming up a bit later on.